St. Paul's Friday News Update. Here we go. Fringe. One of the people who is in this week's Bible reading lived on the fringe of society. She had been outcast due to that time's version of religious freedom laws. She was forced to live away from people because she didn't want to have their, they didn't want to have their religious liberties threatened by being kind to a person who didn't fit their rules. There was no opportunity to order a cake or sit down at a local restaurant. The rule said she was to remove herself from contact with others and to sit in her shame. And Jesus? Jesus didn't play that game. The woman who lived on the fringe thought that if she could just touch the hem of Jesus' clothes that she would be better. It was common then, and still is for people at a synagogue to touch the hem, the fringe, the seat seat, or rabbi's robe, in order to receive a blessing or even healing. And she did. She rebelled against the shaming culture, reached out to the fringe, reached out from the fringe to touch the fringe, the seat seat. And Jesus turned around and said, How dare you infringe on my religious liberty? The rules of my religion say that you must separate yourselves from others. And by coming close to me, you have persecuted me. Shame on you. I must refuse to serve you with my deeply held religious beliefs as my weapon. It is my right and it is my duty. I did that with a southern accent. It's probably not good. But uh, anyway, no, he didn't do anything like that. He said, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. Because that's the kind of thing Jesus does. See you Sunday.